Engineering plays a part in almost every element of our daily life. Whether we're using an app on our phone, crossing a bridge on an afternoon walk, or driving to work in our cars, consistent innovation in engineering has a huge effect on how we live our lives, and without it, we wouldn't have many of the things that we consider a necessity. Today, we'll be looking at some of the biggest engineering marvels in the world. Engineers in history have pushed the boundaries of science, technology, construction, manufacturing, architecture, and so many other areas to create these marvels. For more engineering content and career advice, subscribe down below, like this video, and hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Connecting the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, the Panama Canal spans around 65 kilometers from shoreline to shoreline. The canal, which was completed in 1914, is one of the most strategic artificial waterways in the world. Before its conception, ships sailing between the east and west coasts of the United States would have to navigate an around additional 15,000 kilometers. The canal plays a large role in the US economy, handling many imports and exports for the country. A French company took on the great engineering challenge to build the canal in 1881, but failed by 1889, with tropical disease being one of their biggest setbacks and costing the lives of many workers. Sometime later, President Theodore Roosevelt negotiated control at the cost of $40 million, and work began once again in 1904, continuing for the next 10 years before the project was complete. The entire project cost an estimated $639 million to complete, Engineers designed an elevated lock system which would bring the ships to the level of the Gatton Lake, where the ship could then travel approximately 50 kilometers to the next lock via the Calubra Cut, and then back down to sea level across three more locks. With the Pacific Ocean lying higher than the Atlantic Ocean, the difference in sea level requires ships to get up to 26 meters above sea level to reach the other end of the canal, which proved to be a big engineering challenge. The 828 meters tall Burj Khalifa towers above Dubai and took six years to complete. From 2004 to its opening day in 2010, designers, engineers, architects and more came together to take on the monumental task of constructing the world's tallest building. The imposing structure took 22 million work hours to build and overall utilized a record-breaking 330,000 cubic meters of concrete 39,000 tonnes of steel reinforcement, 103,000 square metres of glass, and 15,500 square metres of embossed stainless steel. Aside from the incredible amount of materials needed, the design and construction of the building also raised many challenges. The building had to be able to withstand extreme heat, battle an approximate 15 million gallons of water generated by condensation, and deal with incredibly high winds. But the engineers knew their stuff, and the 200 floor high Burj Khalifa now offers one of the most prestigious addresses in the world. The Channel Tunnel is the longest undersea tunnel in the world, which opened back in May 1994 after six years of construction. The project was made up of three tunnels parallel to one another, two of which were for trains, while the middle tunnel would serve as a ventilation and service tunnel. The tunnels sit 45 metres below the seabed and are approximately 35 miles long from Folkestone in the UK to Calais in France. Building the tunnels was a monumental task. Before they could even begin work, billions had to be raised to fund the project. Experienced engineers had to be found, 13,000 workers had to be hired, and special tunnel boring machines, known as TBMs, had to be designed and built. The geology of the bottom of the English Channel also had to be studied carefully to decide the best location to build. Digging started in 1988, with TBMs used for all the tunnels. These impressive tools would cut through the chalk, collect the debris, and transport it behind using a conveyor belt where it would be disposed of. Five dug from France and six from the UK. One of the biggest challenges was making sure each half of the first tunnel would meet in the middle so special lasers and surveying equipment had to be used. To everyone's relief, they did meet in the middle, but there were still two more tunnels to construct, 
alongside crossover tunnels, land tunnels, piston relief ducts, electrical systems, fireproof doors, the ventilation system, train tracks, and large train terminals in both Folkestone and Calais, making this project one of the most impressive engineering feats of the 20th century with quite the to-do list. One of the most recognised structures in the world, the Great Wall of China, was built over centuries by China's emperors to protect their territory and trading routes. Construction lasted more than 2,000 years from the 3rd century BC to the 7th century AD. The impressive structure spans 21,196 kilometres and consists of walls, horse tracks, watchtowers and shelters. Approximately 100 million tonnes of stone, brick and mud were used across the wall and had to be transported in three main ways. Most commonly workers would carry materials by hand or on their backs or create human chains to pass the materials back and forth. Wheelbarrows, ropes and pulley systems were also used where terrain would allow and animals such as horses and donkeys would help to transport the materials over long distances. Without the tools at our disposal today, the creation of the wall was an impressive example of what humans are capable of. The International Space Station is the largest single structure humans have ever put into space, orbiting the Earth every 90 minutes from around 250 miles above the surface. The station weighs almost 400 tonnes and covers an area as big as a football pitch, making it a difficult task to transport into space. The project was born from scientific and engineering collaboration from five space agencies representing 15 countries. Building the space station was like no other engineering project anyone has ever faced. It was taken into space piece by piece in more than 40 missions and gradually built in orbit using skilled spacewalking astronauts and robotics. Most missions used NASA's space shuttle to carry up the heavier pieces of the shuttle, with some individual modules launching on single-use rockets. The first segment that made its way into space was the Zarya control module sent up aboard a Russian proton rocket from Kazakhstan. The module would supply fuel storage, battery power, rendezvous and docking capability for multiple space vehicles. Two weeks later, the next module, known as Unity Node 1, was joined with the previous module and was the first US-built element of the station, and the first step in the assembly of the orbiting laboratory. Its main construction was completed over 10 years, with the first crew inhabiting the station in 2000. The station continually evolves to include new missions and experiments. But NASA recently announced that the station's operations aim to end in 2030, when it will fall into the Pacific Ocean, which is a sad end to an incredible engineering marvel. Without engineering achievements, we wouldn't have many of the structures, technology and systems that we use every day. Engineering marvels highlight our ability to push boundaries and problem solve on a scale unlike ever before. These towering buildings, innovative methods of travel and fortification set the standard of what is possible for years to come. For more engineering content and career advice, subscribe down below, like this video and hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload. And if you think you've got what it takes to join pioneering engineers across the globe, you can view all our open vacancies or register your CV with us at nesburcroft.com. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.